My top goal would be to run as close to two hours and 30 minutes as I can. It's a nice round number, so why not shoot for it? I think Harry has liked running since he was really little. I can I remember seeing him running a race when he was real small. He, uh, he's good. He's a good runner. Coming from Brooklyn, this is like totally the opposite side of the coin. These are some of like the first runs that I did, and so being able to kind of retrace those footsteps back when I was a little kid. I can see how far I've come, uh, but also I still see that I have that same love for it. We've lived in the house, we built it in 1971. So it's been a long time. It was a peach orchard and a pear orchard on the side, and apple orchard and pear orchards all across the street and all up on the hill. One of my, my main reasons to, to come up here is taking my mind off of running. It consumes so much of my headspace that it's really nice to come up here and just spend time with my family, kind of check out of everything else that's happening around me and just focus immediately what's, what's present. Enjoying the little things. I think family means a, more to me than anyone could know. Because I really would say that I did not come from a close family. I was brought up in a very strict home in a tough time of the Second World War. I thought, if we ever have children, I want to be, I want to be a good mother. And I want, and I hadn't even thought about being a grandmother. <laughs> you know, just to be a good mother. So when Harry was born, um, we were all excited, you know, and when they gave us the name, it was Harold W. Gould, so he was the second. He was named after my husband. So there's Harry. When I lost my husband six years ago, it was a huge loss, but I was determined, no, I'm keeping this house, and I'm not, I'm not going anywhere. It impacted my life by thinking you have to be really resilient and you have to make the best of the circumstances and move forward. So I hope I can be here a long time. And if there's something I can't do, I'll call Harry. <laughs> Before running, I was a really angry little kid. I was super hot-headed. I would get really worked up over something and sometimes you have rivals out on the track or on whatever course, but ultimately it's it's you versus you. I think running has kind of ground me down in like a good way and that it's, can't always take things too seriously. A lot of times there's things out of your control. I started running back in middle school and I, I made a promise to myself that I'd quit when I stopped having fun and I'm, I'm still here and I'm still having fun. I hope he makes it to the marathon. And I know he will, because he's a very fast runner. I think it takes a lot of perseverance and a lot of courage. They go out in all kinds of weather, sleet, hail, heat. They go. I have more sense, I don't. <laughs> I think I'm already proud of myself. I've gotten up to run pretty much every day for the last few months. I don't think there's anything in, in particular that I could do day of the race that would make me more or less proud of myself as I already am. I'm happy to be there, just happy to be there, you know?